this is Aileen from Mrs. Miracle's Music Room, and today I'm going to show you a really awesome Google add-on called Pear Deck. Now, a word of warning here, Pear Deck is free, but there are some premium features that I'll be showing you, and I'll show you which ones are premium and which ones are not, that you may not have access to if your district does not have the premium add-on, but there's still a lot that you can do with the free version. Now, Pear Deck is usually used in in-class situations where a teacher is presenting something like on the smart board and the kids are one-to-one -one on their Chromebooks or whatever and are viewing the presentation on their device and can interact with it in real time. However, in a distance learning situation, we're not real time, so I'm going to show you how to assign a link that kids can interact with whenever. So to get to Pear Deck, I have opened up a Google Slides, and then I'm going to click Add-ons, and then I'm going to go to Pear Deck for Google Slides Add-on, and open Pear Deck Add-on. Once I open that up, there's this whole bar on the side that has all this information. I'm going to go to Template Library and show you some of the slides that are already in here that you can choose. So a lot of these are geared more for classroom teachers, but I'm going to show you how you can edit. So you just click on whatever slide you want. Okay. Um, so this is more for like an in-person kind of situation. You know, students could write the response. So let's do something like this. This, this makes more sense for this kind of situation. What did you learn from your homework? I'm going to go ahead and delete these two slides because we do not need them. Okay. So what did you learn from your homework? Now, maybe you've given a video that they need to watch about like trouble cough note reading. So you could change this however you want to, like what did you learn from the video maybe, right? Now I'll show you once you present, um, the students will see this slide, but then they'll see a box over here that they can type into. So it's great for um, feedback from your students about how they're doing with what you have assigned them. Um, this one right here I think is more, is a premium feature, but I'm gonna show you says draw one draw or type two things that you already know about today's topic okay so like i said this is a premium feature that you may or may not have um, but students can actually and i'll show you in a minute they can actually draw on the screen once they are visiting that link um, this one is the draggable slides i believe are also premium features and for this one they would be dragging some icons but I'm going to show you some sites that you do have access to regardless of whether you're free or paid. So I'm going to go back here and they also have some during lesson. Um, so I believe the multiple choice slides you can get to on the free plan. And with this, instead of having it say, is this statement true or false? Let's say you're working on Cinco Pi, you could type pa last for two beats, true or false, and they would choose an option. I'm going to go back so you can see some other slides. Um, now for this one here, circle how you are feeling. Um, you could do that. That's a, a great question to ask. Or I actually did this with second grade where I asked, um, circle the mood of this piece of music. And then they circled whichever one. Oh, that's a drawing side though. So you might not be able to have that one. Let me show you some more that um, you do have access to. If you go to critical thinking here, the text slide you could do. Um, so I actually use this one here for, uh, for them to enter their name. So I'm gonna drag this up here and you can say, type your name and your classroom teacher. And then you erase that. And then that way you can tell who's actually engaging with it. Um, this one would also be a good one to use. I wonder, let's say you have had them watch a few videos and maybe do a worksheet or something, then you could have them um, fill this one out. I wonder, and then there's gonna be a box that they can um, type into. Okay, so I created this for fourth grade so you can see a specific music example. Um, so I had this slide, what is your name in the classroom teacher? Um, the next slide is copy this pattern with your finger or mouse. This is a drawable slide, but you could edit this to be like, um, 
write the rhythm syllables for this pattern. And then they, in the text box, they could type cinco, pa, ta, 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 or ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, or whatever you call it, right? Um, and then this one is, which of these is not two beats long? Again, if you don't have the draggable feature, then you could edit this. Oh, and the cool thing too, let me show you something too. Let's say you've chosen a slide that is a draggable slide, but you um, don't actually have that feature. or You want something like this. You can actually change this to be whatever you want. So if I wanted this to be a text option, I could click this, hit update slide, and it would actually change it to a writing um, slide. So there would be a box next to it. So you would maybe want to reword this to is A, B, C, or D, the one that is not two beats long. And then they, you know, answer that. I'm going to hit undo though. Okay. Um, so yeah, down here you can change it to be whatever you want, which is really cool. Um, and then on my last slide I have, in this lesson, tell me what worked and what didn't. Did the technology work okay? What did you enjoy? What was difficult? So that way I can have an idea of how it's working for them. Um, so that's just an idea of a way that you can have kids engage with the material a little bit more. Now, you might be wondering, okay, great, but how do I see what they did? So you can go, well, okay, first of all, let me show you. You're going to go to present lesson. You need the link that you're going to give them. So I'm going to choose my school email account. And if you don't see anything here and you've waited a, you know, a minute and you still don't see anything, try to refresh the um, website address because sometimes it's just a little glitchy. Okay, you're going to hit X because what you just saw is what you would typically give them. You would typically have them go to joinpd.com and enter a pin, but we're not doing that right now because we are... I'm assigning this as homework because we're in a distance learning situation. You're going to click the three dots here and then go to turn on student paste. And then you copy this link here. You open up a new window so you can see what it looks like. Hit paste. And then I'm doing well. It always, always asks that. Okay. And then you can type whatever here. Oops. <laughs> hit next okay for this one it is a drawing one unless you change it to be something else there we go and then you can erase if you need to at all hit next and like i said if you want to change this to be like a b c or d if you don't have the draggable feature you could do that but i do have the draggable feature so i'm going to drag this hit next and then you could say like the technology worked well. I loved the song Bump Up Tomato. This is for the entire lesson. So they watched earlier in the lesson before they got to these Paired X slides. Um, I had them watch a video and then go to these. Okay. So after they get done with this, they're just going to X out of it. Okay. And then we're going to go back to the three lines here. We're going to go to review sessions. I'm going to choose that again. And then I am going to click this session and go to open dashboard. And it is going to show me all of the responses. Oops. There we go. All right, so the way that I delivered this link, in case you're wondering that, is I had, here we go, I had a Google Slides for each grade level. And these templates that you see right here, you can get for free in my store. I will link to them below. So the first slide just tells them what we're doing in the lesson. This is very similar to what they would see if we were actually together in music class with the I can statement. And then here are some directions of what we're doing. And then I inserted a video here that they're gonna watch when they hit present and they hit play, they'll be able to watch it. And then this is a video of me singing Liza Jane and presenting Cinco Pa, which I never thought I would be presenting that in a video, but those are the times we're in right now. 
And then this is where they're going to see that link. So I'm going to click present so you can see what it looks like. So it says click this link, complete the slides, then exit out of the window. So I'm going to click that link. And it's going to take me to that prayer deck, which I've already finished. So um, that's why you already see it going to the last slide and you already see what I've typed. All right. So, all right. So that's it. I hope that's been helpful to you as you navigate this new situation. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.